Cooking Mama 3, the tradition of food and video games, continues. And what I like about this game is that you're not just making simple recipes like spaghetti, hamburgers, grilled cheese. Mama is cooking sushi and all kinds of other weird ass foods. Instead of calling this game Cooking Mama 3 Shop and Chop, which makes very little sense, they should have called it Cooking Mama 3 Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom Special Edition, where Mama cooks a plate of centipedes and chilled monkey brains. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is disembowel some shrimp. This, this actually isn't very disgusting, in fact, this is how, how you cook shrimp. And it's clearly aimed at a younger audience if you have kids that do want to learn to cook. Shrimp is an excellent food, nutritious, delicious, and when you're watching football, you need some shrimp cocktail. And you, you, do, you do rip off their little legs, preferably making screaming sounds while you do it. And that dark vein thing is their shrimp poop. Let's season the shrimp and then go through the process of deep frying it. The whole Mama series of games is quite entertaining and they're very well made. They're a perfect match for the Nintendo DS because they're just made to work with the Nintendo DS stylus. Some games on the DS feel gimmicky when they try to shove the touch screen controls upon you, but not this one. The designers also do a nice job utilizing the split screen Nintendo DS design. Look how cool this is, teaching kids how to deep fry. Important skills that will help you through your entire life. The next thing they need to do is grilling mama, where mama grills up some beer can, chicken, and an entire stack of ribs. Mmm. They could expand on this series, like mama goes out into the wilderness to uh, shoot down some buffalo with a bow and arrow, drag it back and throw it on the grill. Cooking Mama the Pioneer Edition. And of course there could be a whole spin-off series similar to Gardening Mama, which I reviewed earlier in the year. We could have Brewing Mama, where Mama learns to brew different kinds of beers. Because there's, there's many out there. Ales, lagers, Belgian-style wheat beer, German Hefeweizen. How about an IPA? Mama could start her own brewery and come up with sleazy marketing tactics like dry beer and ice beer. I could just see the game where you boil water, add hops, malted barley. It would be educational because you kill bacteria when you boil the water, so it's safe to drink. That's how it kept the ancients alive. Let's get back to this game, one that actually exists. In addition to using the stylus for much of the cooking in Cooking Mama 3, during some of the recipes, the player must blow into the microphone on the Nintendo DS. Very clever. Hey, let's gut a fish. This is like a finishing move in Gears of War. When you curb stomp one of the enemies and then cut them in half with a chainsaw. In this game, it's educational. And rainbow trout are delicious. They taste much better than the locust horde. If you ask me, I find Mama to be a lot more interesting and entertaining than any so-called celebrity chef. I hate fabricated celebrities. Star chef! Look, she's a star because we've bought our own commercial time because nobody else would pay money for it. Another thing they should do with the Cooking Mama series, because eventually they're going to run out of food. She's already cooking squid in this one. I'm not, I'm not sure what else she could make squirrel kebabs or something. They, they should have guest appearances from other video game stars. Like Cooking Mama with Sonic the Hedgehog. Mario and Luigi. It could be funny, like Cooking Mama thinks she's going to make Octopus only to realize that it's an end boss battle with one of the characters from Metal Gear Solid 4. In addition to the cooking, Cooking Mama 3 has a strange shopping mini game. You can also dress up Mama in different outfits and have a cooking competition against a friend. The other stuff in the game feels like it was just tacked on to have more menu items. The heart of the game and the best part of Cooking Mama 3 is the cooking. You're basically being timed and scored for your skill, your cooking skills. I can't believe she's cooking a sea urchin. Do people actually eat those things? That looks utterly repulsive in every single way. That looks like a bad guy in a Godzilla movie. Cooking Mama 3 is very similar to the other games in the series. It is a well-made game, easy to find out there. They have numerous Cooking Mama games. They're good, light-hearted fun. So I, I enjoyed Cooking Mama 3. It's fun for the humans. 
not so much for the animals that you're cooking.